Okay, so today I wanted to go over a few other tests that you guys wanted to see that haven't been done yet. One, I want to go ahead and repeat what happens if your hands are not on the wheel and the car puts on its flashers and everything. A lot of you guys commented in the last video what happens if you push the accelerator while that's going on. Well, I'm gonna go and test that out and we actually have a camera down there on the feet so we can easily see everything down there, what's being pushed and everything. So that'll be super helpful. And then a lot of people have been asking what happens when you push the accelerator and the brake pedal at the same time in different orders, one after the other and vice versa and everything. So we are gonna test that out too. Uh, should be a couple cool tests. Definitely though, comment down below if there's something you wanna see tested, I'm more than happy as long as it's within reason to test it. Obviously, I don't want to do anything that will negatively impact my car, but most things within reason, there are ways that we can test it. So we're going to just jump right into it. Okay, take number five, six. I don't know, I've been uh, getting a car behind me, so I've been pulling over and resetting. But anyway, here we are. This is uh, autopilot. Obviously, I'm gonna put my hands over the wheel to make sure I take over if I need to. Uh, we have the foot cam in case you guys uh, want to see what pedal we are going to press. Uh, as soon as it starts to prompt us to take over, we're actually going to try pressing the accelerator pedal. See if that will disengage the warnings but keep autopilot on. If that doesn't work, we will try pressing the brake pedal. I'm pretty sure the brake pedal will work because that will just disengage autopilot altogether. So I guess... Uh, We'll just see what happens at this point. One real quick thing that I wanted to mention because a lot of people were asking, how do you reset it if you were kicked out? And you have to put your car in park and then go back into drive. That is the only way to reset it. So here we are getting the flashing and the hold, but we're not doing it. There's alarm, okay, so let's press the accelerator. We're still getting it, okay, and I'm pressing. And I'm like actively pressing. And now brake will just kick it out. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, I, we almost set it off. So close to getting kicked out of autopilot for this run. But there you have it. Accelerator will do nothing. The brake will just take it out of autopilot like pressing the brake would normally do when you're in autopilot. So for the next test of what happens if you press both pedals at once, one after the other, etc., we are actually going to go to a parking lot because that is the safest place to do that. And we're gonna just find a parking lot that doesn't have many cars or any cars ideally and go ahead and do that where we actually have some room and we're not going to be stopping on a main road because that is a terrible idea so i will see you guys in just a few okay we have arrived this is probably the most crowded i've ever seen in this parking lot there's quite a lot of people behind me and that half so we're going to stay to this half still plenty of room always be careful if you are doing something like this but we got all our cameras going we have our main camera, we have the road camera, we have the instrument cluster camera, and the foot cam. So we are going to see exactly what happens if we press the accelerator and the brake at the same time. Uh, technically, like looking at it, it's not that possible. Well, while yes, my foot is wide enough to hit both at once, it is not angled right. So I don't know if you see like this movement right here. This is just on the brake this is on both. It actually angles my foot just right. So the accelerator pedal is actually put further down than the brake pedal. So if you press down, instead of hitting both at the exact same time, you hit the brake first, then the accelerator, which should, in theory, disengage the accelerator from letting you accelerate. But just some things, like some observations I had. I mean, you could maybe be driving like this. I don't know why you would. That seems dangerous. I wouldn't. Um, you could double foot drive but that's a terrible idea. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't do that. I've actually broken my right foot and had to drive with my left. I tried and it just wouldn't work. So for like a month and a half, I had to be carted around everywhere because I could only use my left foot and that just doesn't have the sensitivity that you need to drive. So right now we are in hold. I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot over both the pedals and push down flat and see what happens. Um, we are pressing the brake now. And now we are hitting the accelerator. Oh! Both pedals pressed. Interesting, good on you Tesla. A bunch of people were wondering about this because we've all kind of been curious how like some people claim they hit the wrong pedal or some people claim they hit both pedals and the car went. Uh, I don't really see that so much the case here. 
Um, but let's go ahead and start like creeping a little bit. And I have the accelerator pressed and now I'm gonna press the brake. So yeah, the accelerator definitely overrode. Wow, that felt really weird to do with my left foot. So the brake press definitely overrode the accelerator press. So I mean, I've been playing around with it for several minutes and I can't find any way or any combination of presses that would make the accelerator override the brake, which is how it should be. So I definitely think this is uh, kind of like busted, but a lot of you guys had requested this, so I wanted to try it out because to be honest, I didn't even know. And the fact that it came up with both pedals pressed, it's pretty cool and uh, it's very helpful. So that way you know, and it beeps at you. So there definitely gets your attention and tells you, hey, something isn't right here, figure it out. <laughs> Okay, quick behind the scenes, I'm actually filming this with my phone. Uh, you all ask how, like, what cameras I use and everything. So here's what I'm rocking with right now. So here we have just a light that is actually illuminating the footwell because without that, you really wouldn't see anything. We have a GoPro right here, which is mounted onto that part of the dash. We have a GoPro right there getting all of the instrument cluster, which, by the way, I leave the screen on when I'm filming so that I can actually see what's behind it. Be very careful. We have a GoPro right here getting the road shots. And then we have the big camera, my A6500 right there to capture me. Pretty soon though, this dash cam will be coming out. We'll be getting a 4K dash cam. Be sure to follow and I'll uh, talk all about that. And I actually have a discount code for you guys if you want to buy one. And maybe this one will become my new road cam once it's 4K. Okay, well, that's basically it for this one. Super quick one. I just wanted to show you guys what happens. This is probably one of the most requested things I have seen you guys ask me to test. So there we go. If you have anything else you want to see tested, put it down in the comment section below. I might not be able to respond to everybody, but I do try to read a bulk of the comments. It's always great for me just to keep in touch with the audience and know what you guys are feeling, what you're thinking, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. So definitely let me know down there. If you are looking for a Tesla, check out our website, teslainventory.com. If you're looking for a new or inventory model S or X, feel free to use our referral code. It's down in the description below or the top of our website. You'll actually get free supercharging if you use that code, which is an awesome perk. And if you do use our code, definitely fill out the form through the website. It's up at the top right hand corner. That way I have your contact information. So when we take delivery of our next gen roadster, we can invite you guys out, do some test rides, test drives, see what kind of party we can plan up. Cause really without your support, none of this would be possible. So I can't thank you guys enough for everything. Definitely though, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and click here to subscribe here for some other videos. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.